hello all you beautiful souls um this is just chit chat i'm not sure what else to call it because i in no way feel called to read cards or read energies um but i was like get the camera up and start recording um so now that i'm recording and um there's a bit of you know <laughs> like silence on the other side just kind of like let her do her little introduction thing um but i do feel called to speak about the energies that i have been feeling and the changes in the energies and the messages and guidance that i have been receiving on what we we collectively have been going through especially the pocketed uh collective consciousness of those um, on a path of self-awareness, self-control, healing, and really choosing to not give any of the shit from the past any of our attention. It's like a quick turnaround. Like, you know, you accidentally turn around to see what's happening behind you and it's like, you should have or you could have or if you don't it's because you're waiting for the adequate energies to come in that are going to be unconditionally loving and that means when they see you looking at shit that you have been like yeah I'm no longer giving any of my energy to that shit they can smack you and be like what the fuck you looking at what the fuck you feeding you know um um I feel don't go out it's getting dark you guys so I'm trying to get some candles lit cuz your sister likes candlelight oh my goodness hi welcome to my channel I'm Chandra Lynn if you've been here before hi I love you it's so great to like you know connect again and if you're new here, welcome. If what I say resonates and you understand it, stay. If you're like, you know, girl be crazy, then move along. Um, go find something that makes it, you happy. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Okay, introductions. This is not a reading. <laughs> though spirit is going to be with us in shit chatting um i need that one i'll light this one later if i need to when it gets a bit darker but if i don't need it right now i'm gonna leave it so um i want to start off by saying that if you have um you you could have possibly been feeling a bit of um like possibly hi buddy uh, i didn't realize you were in your your uh, cold mini out that's okay hi. yeah he's not allowed inside right now because he went to get up on the counter to get in the mashed potatoes yeah so he's Staying out? Yep, he's staying out. He done messed himself up. I love you. Hey, Corey, yeah. is your grandma home? Yeah, she is. Would you mind shutting the gates? Yeah. Because I keep having to chase Zeus and another big dog out of the yard. Yeah. Thank you, love. Oh. Watch out for the fire pit because it's still smoldering a little bit. Yeah, I see that. All right, and then would you let your grandma know that the gates are closed? Would you let your grandma know that the gates are closed? Yeah. Wait, both gates? Yes, both gates. I don't want Zeus and that other dog getting back in the yard tonight. 
sorry about that my child and then um, we have a grandma has a dog in heat and she's locked up in the house but we've been having dogs come in the yard all day so I want the gate shut so that way they can't get in the backyard um, I feel called so I'm going to say that it probably would have been um, I know for me it was like the last three months of 2017 and the first three months of 2018 where I feel like we last had this major energy um, jump um, like an ascension jump is the best way that I can describe it like we have jumped and we are now in a new energy it just keeps like we just keep jumping up um, but you know like at a fluid like it's not like a, a, you know, straight up and down. It's something more like this, but there is a, uh, <laughs> there is a group, how you get pockets of collective consciousness. They all kind of believe in the same thing. So, um, if this resonates and if you feel like you have been called to kind of walk a certain way and release like certain things or um the best way that i can explain it for me was i was called and guided to have instead of having a reaction the way that it was when i was in the old energy to kind of jump to the complete opposite polar opposite of where i was naturally at and then kind of move from there to find my balance um I feel like we're in the move more of a move to find balance because from past guidance in the older energy not the old old but you know like last week <laughs> last month <laughs> being guided to you know um, like my higher self guiding me to embody a certain um, behaviors um, there was a lot of communication and it could have just been the fact that previous to um, previous to my diagnosis and my call to um, my shamanic path um, in the old patterns the ones that kept me alive when I was younger um, are no longer useful to stop them but then at the same time because they've been with you ever since you were born and you learned them growing up it's not exactly like you know exactly what fucking action you would choose to take like what step would you choose to take and you don't know because you've always been in the old patterns um, so being guided to um, Ooh, like embodying a completely different energy it was very going to one end to the other like automatically jumping into the deep end thank you buddy I love you did you let your grandma know okay thank you um There is just a lot, a lot. Oh, I'm coming back. I got pulled into reality to talk to my son, and now I'm going to. Hey, don't don't cross the line. This is Mooney. He's a Great Dane, and he is about five months old, and he got kicked out of the house for trying to eat the mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, but this is his favorite place to lay down at night. But normally he's still inside right now. And so he's kind of like, I'm supposed to be inside having my kid time. Um, oh my God, Great Danes are such drawers. All right, just FYI, beautiful lap dogs. They scare people, but really have no... Um, 
there's really quite no maliciousness in them. They're very quite benevolent until you're threatening <laughs> their family. And then they become that, you know, that amazing protector. Um, but they, like, drinking water, it's like you could go behind them with a mop and just, like, because there's water everywhere. Like, if you have, like, any kind of, like, you don't want them on carpet, don't put water on carpet because you're going to be, like, walking around in a freaking swamp. Craziness. <sighs> Eating mashed potatoes. He loves vegetables. Um. My bad. So, for me, it was a period of really kind of taking the time, unless it was actually you have to make a decision right now, there's no other choice, I would just sit with it <clears throat> because I wanted to know what would I choose to do? How would I choose to behave? What would Chandra's choice of action be? And so, um, it was kind of a time of just you know, like standing, taking in every perspective that I could and taking in knowledge and asking, you know, um, asking those that I came into contact with that were really vibing at the moment, you know, about like their perspective and everything to get as many of the choices and awareness just to kind of, un um, break down any barriers of me not being able to clearly see my choices um, um, so here we are and now I have had new guides showing up and I have um, it's not like oh but yeah, they, it's like this new energy showing up and they are showing up to help me now with kind of a balance because there are some things that your traumatized version, your old version, the old, old world version of you that are just get frozen in fear because they don't possibly even recognize that there is a choice for them to jump right like it's just not there and that is the best way that I can explain it is that it could clearly be there but you're unable to see it as if you've got some kind of um selective blindness and it's not your choice of selectiveness it's not necessarily a choice you're like yeah I'm just gonna ignore this like it, it was a version of you at a very young age that was that recognized if that was an option and you walked towards it, then it was extremely dangerous. It became really dangerous for you. So it was best at that time in the energy you were at to not even glance at it. So um, all of that stuff is really coming up and has been really being purged out for years. And now we have made it to another level or a new frequency. Um, a newer energy and shift we've transitioned further into the shift and now there is I want to say like it's shifting the energy is shifting to the point where now you're going to go in and start embodying um, more of the energy you were um, not embodying but making choices no no stop it I love you but you're getting on my nerves no you know you don't fit here where were you gonna go you were gonna get stuck and hurt yourself like he's entered into his fucked up fours or something it's crazy um man I'm hoping that this is really helpful because there has been many interruptions and there is no way I'm editing hmm. 
I know that the newer guides showing up are really showing up and helping me stand in an energy where I am witnessing a balance coming into play, where I'm witnessing a justified balance coming in, where I'm witnessing um, energies that once were able to freely attack or hurt me are no longer able to do that. And because it's such a new energy for me to witness that, there is an instinctual part of me from the old version that wants to move forward um, to, I want to say, like uh, tamper down something, to calm something down. Um, it is extremely uncomfortable to witness others receiving what they had sown, especially when you know what that feels like due to what they sown was first. Um, was first experienced by you. So, um... Yeah. And I'm unsure if there's anything else that wants to be said. Because that feels quite like a bit. Um, I want to... Okay, so with this energy that's a new shifting... It's a new energy. It's a new, new energy. And... It's new to all. It's like a new energy to all energy. It's a new shift for all energy. So your guides, your angels, your ancestors, you know, all of that is um Yeah, there's no remember there's no room for you here and you're drooling all over me again, love. Don't take my pots. He keeps eating my flower pots. He keeps eating my starter pots. That's already a busted pot that he started chewing up earlier this week. Okay, so the new energy. So all energy is going through this shift. All energy is coming into a new energy. All conscious energy is... Da -da 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 -da, it's going through it. So there is a lot of um, companionship in your... In the spirit realm of your guides, your angels, the spirit animals, your ancestors. Like, it's a companionship because all is going through it. So, there is more of a discussion and brainstorming of future actions or current actions now. What to do in the now. I, it's just a restful energy, like try, rest as much as you can. And it, that sounds weird because you think of like not doing anything at all, but what activities do you find that take absolutely none of your usable energy? What are activities that you love to do that you just do and it's like not realizing that you've been doing them? And that is a restful state because you're in a zen you're doing what you love it's a beautiful like kind of just um idling energy it's not something that you're having to put any effort into going so um that is what um i'm really feeling guided with myself because we're in this new energy which means it's like every step forward is creation in itself so when you're stepping forward in your restful energy doing the things that you love to do focusing on the things that you love um that's what you're creating ahead it's not about um 
it's not about like really in a sense knowing what the what the end goal is but you know what the end goal is it's just the energy that is currently flowing through everything right now has everybody like whoa and that is the best way that I think I can explain it for right now because I feel like I'm starting to get really tongue-tied I feel like there has been so many interruptions tonight so if you have been with me thank you I really do hope that this gives you clarity and understanding and confirms um, messages and your own internal knowing because that's all this is meant to do um, and I love you I look forward to talking to you guys soon and I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna stop there and good night